Hi, my name is Ali Jabri. And I'm Libby Gordon. Welcome to the first installment of I Love Chili TV News, Chili's top English language news source. In 2010, the world watched as Chileans overcame the earthquake and successfully rescued 33 miners in a historical moment for national collaboration. Chile has a lot to look forward to in 2011 and seems to have grabbed the attention of the global media. In fact, last week the New York Times ranked Santiago the number one destination to visit in 2011, and Bloomberg reported that Chile will be at the forefront of economic growth in South America this year. Looking at the skyline of Santiago, you can see this growth firsthand and have probably noticed the skeleton of the Costanera Tower not yet finished and already a titan of a structure. C.B. Richard Ellis, an international real estate services company, estimates that the Cocinero Center will be completed by the end of 2012. The shopping center section of the complex will include a six-floor shopping mall with over 300 stores and two hotels. When completed, the main office tower will be South America's tallest building, measuring 300 meters. Chile is not only growing towards the sky, looking underground, Santiago's metro is also undergoing great expansion to start off the year. According to a press release by Metro de Santiago last week, the new Line 5 extension to Plaza de Maipú, which includes seven new stations, is expected to open later this month. Last Monday, January 3rd, the final phase began. The trains are completing a series of trial runs without passengers to ensure accurate speeds and safety. Once the Line 5 extension is opened, passengers will be able to ride from Plaza de Maipú to Plaza de Armas in just 26 minutes as opposed to the lengthy hour plus journey it takes to travel the distance now. What began in 1994 as Teatro Amil, Santiago Amil is now one of the year's most popular international street festivals and draws thousands of viewers to its venues and performances. Throughout the month of January, theater companies from around the world join Chile's theatrical community to host large-scale performances and spectacles at various culture venues all around Santiago. The festival has gained so much momentum over the years, it is now expanding to other main cities around Chile, such as Valparaiso, Concepcion, and Antofagasta. With 50 different shows presented, there is definitely no shortage of options for viewers interested in getting their cultural dosage. For ticket information, visit santiagoamil.cl. In sports, two months after the polemic elections between Harold May Nichols and Jorge Segovia, the most famous soccer soap opera in the country came to an end on Friday afternoon. Sergio Jadwe was elected as the new president of the Chilean Professional Soccer Association with 27 votes for and 21 against. At this point, the question is to find out if the outgoing head coach of the Chilean national soccer team, Marcelo Bielsa, will continue with La Roja. That concludes this week's newscast at I Love Chile TV. Join us next week for the top stories from Chile in English. To stay connected with us throughout the week, become a fan of our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Good show, guys.